All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Good morning and uh, good afternoon for those who have afternoon. For us here, we have uh, 12 33 a.m. in the morning, so we are after the middle of the night. Uh, today, we saw the news where uh, uh, India uh, they voted for a new law which is criminalizing divorcing Muslim women three times. Now, the Prime Minister of India, he claimed that this is a his, like this is a victory, a victory for women's rights, as we see in uh, Twitter, Mr. Modi. And uh, I agree, it's a, it's a little bit of a victory, but it's a very shy victory, and actually it did not really fix the problem, and I'll explain why. If you notice what the title is, that it's criminalizing only a Muslim man divorcing women three times. So what about first time and second time? <laughs> so still a Muslim man, he can divorce his wife by saying to her, you are divorced. Or what they are saying, you cannot do it three times at once. <laughs> so where is the victory here? Still, the Muslim women, she is under the control of the Abdulism cult. She is not free, and her husband will control her. And he is the one who can say, you are fired anytime anyway. So what, uh, what is this is about? Mr. Moody claiming that the medieval practice has finally been, been uh, confined uh, to be something in history, but, but this is not true. You did nothing, absolutely nothing. Did you force uh, the law that nobody can abuse women by divorcing them and kicking them out of their house? No. Uh, did you forbid Muslim men from texting their wife in, at home when she is cooking? She received a text message saying you are divorced? No. So what you did? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. However, <clears throat> this is will shine the light about uh, how shy governments in the world to say the truth that this is a very bad practice and the law of Allah is a very bad law. Very shy. A Muslim or Muslims who they are from India, let us say famous ones or those who they are even in the uh, legislation office, uh, Asabuddin al Kawasi said, uh, I hope the etc. official will challenge this inconstitutionally in our uh, fight to save India, uh, etc. So, this guy, he's a Muslim, he is saying this is not right, and uh, you know. Uh, this is against the Constitution. Laws don't reform soci society if did sex elective abortion, child abuse, wife abandonment, uh, uh, dowry uh, would be in history. Okay. But all of those things Islam does. The law is against Muslim women. Why it's against Muslim women? Mr. Asabuddin explained it to us. Because it make uh, uh, the law force women to stay uh, in marriage with an imprisoned man who do verbally and emotionally abuse her. It put the burden of a proof on Muslim women and force her into in uh, like an imprisonment. So, so look, look at this logic. This law is against the women. Why? Because now the husband, he wants to divorce her, but you are forcing him not to do so. So now the husband will abuse her. Hmm. Well, obviously, the man who is divorcing his wife anyway, he abused her enough to the point he don't want her no more. Same time, who said that the woman, she cannot ask for divorce? What this guy is saying, that only Muslim men, they can divorce. This man here proving to us that 
because you made this law that a Muslim man he cannot say to his wife three times divorced now the Muslim woman she is imprisoned with her with a, with a husband she don't want but the fact is not her she was asking for divorce it is the guy who is abusing his right same time he is saying to us well we need to give the man the right because that will give the women the freedom which means he agreed that women she is imprisoned as long as she is married to a Muslim and the only way for her to get out is the man saying to her you are divorced which means he agreed that Islam is against women to ask for divorce because right away by saying that now you are forcing the women to stay with the husband that's mean you are saying that Islam forced the women to stay with the husband and she cannot ask for divorce so in order for the, the logic of the Abdulism Muhammadan people that giving the right for the man to divorce his wife by saying few words in his lips is to protect the women not to abuse her you see the logic it's to protect the women imagine a woman she is cooking food for her family her husband he get upset from something he sent her a text message saying you are divorced bingo get out you are no one no security whatsoever you see in America if a, if a woman she uh, even if she's a girlfriend and she live with the man for seven years she take 50% of his money a woman she got divorced she take 50% of his money the owner of Amazon he just uh, divorced his wife and she got I think 38 billion dollar deal so what the Muslim men here they are saying that the law of India is against Islam because the Muslim man only should control otherwise if you don't give control to the man now the woman she is imprisoned this is how the logic work and by the way as I said India did not do anything by doing this because all oh, what you did saying don't do three time divorce but you can say you can do one time you can do the second time you can even do the third time but you cannot do them all in at once that's all what they are saying so where is the where is the protection for the women nothing nothing changed nothing happened the women still she is being abused and she is the first one to be humiliated now here you will notice with me at Jazeera TV as usual they always they try to ignite a hatred between the, 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 the Hindu and the Muslims so they claim that this is was a victory for the Hindus it's not about women right it's about Hindus you see this passage of the bill was victory for India Hindu nationalist Prime Minister and this is how always the Jazeera TV they plant the seed of hate and violence trying to ignite hatred between Muslims and Hindus in India because now the Muslim they will say oh look what Jazeera TV is saying the Hindus you see what the Hindus did but the one who voted for it is the parliament of the country not only the Hindus let us go to the roots of the problem and no, Moody, he did not do a good job at all. This is a horrible job. Very shy. He did nothing. Still, the women, she's abused. What do you mean, good job? How this can be a good job? Where is the good job in this? Did he make a law says the woman, she can say, why the Muslim woman, she can't say to the husband three times divorce? You see this Abdul here, the smart Abdul, who is saying, okay, now you are forcing the women to be imprisoned with her husband. What about we give the women the right to say three times divorce too? Send her husband text message saying you are done. I want to come back home. I don't want to see you, okay? Why only the man he can do that? So here you see the double standard of this cult, Abdulism cult, how the women she is always under the threat and she is controlled by the man. In Islam, the man he can beat his wife, the women she cannot beat her husband. It's one-sided religion that man he can do violence to his wife 
and the women she is always the one can be beaten she is the only one can be divorced she is the only one can be thrown you know and this is what Muhammad he did with his wife Sauda Sauda after she get old and she is not good looking for Muhammad Muhammad he send the news that he will divorce her so that she went to Muhammad uh, uh, child wife Aisha and she told her I will give you my day you know because Muhammad supposed to have a day for every one of his wife if you convince Muhammad not to divorce me because the women she will be homeless where she will go she's very old so Muhammad by the uh, uh, when I actually said that to him he said okay what he will lose anyway I mean she have her own house and he have a lot of money and you know he don't pay from his pocket anyway the Muslims pay for it so he agreed to leave her in the house but he don't sleep with her which is really an abuse Quran chapter 4 verse number 34 says it clearly that men are in charge of women and they are the maintainers and the reason for that because they spend their money on them if you don't like this translation you can choose different translation actually this translation is stupid but anyway all of them are the same I never saw a Muslim translation is accurate men are in charge of women because Allah has made one of them excel the other and because they spend of their property for the support of women so good women are obedient guarding in secret what Allah guarded etc and then if you there is a woman you fear rebellion admonish them banish them in bed apart and scourge them and here the the funny thing about the translation uh, what banish them you know and what uh, banish them in part in bed this is about jailing women in their rooms and then you beat them which one you choose to do first it's up to you there's no you see some translation they say first second third this is a lie there's no first there's no second there's no do whatever you wish scourge them some they lie they say this is about beating women lightly well this is a big fat lie because we have the story where a woman her husband did beat her until her skin became a greener than her clothes and Aisha she said look look prophet I never saw a suffering woman as much as a believing woman which means Muslim women are the most to suffer who, who is witnessing for this Aisha herself look her skin is greener than her clothes and what Muhammad did he took the side of the man who did beat the wife the funny in the website there he's saying now you are forcing the women to stay with the man and this is not Islamic but Muhammad here he forced the women to stay with the man the story here that this woman she don't want to sleep with the husband and actually she married him because Muhammad he come with a crazy stupid rule that if you divorce the wife three times she cannot go back to the husband previous husband unless she go and sleep with the new man so this woman she did marry this new husband in order to sleep with him supposedly but maybe just by she showed she thought if I marry him only and then I make him divorce me I will go back to my husband and without sleeping with me but this is, does not work for Muhammad Muhammad he insists that if this is your attention and remember here the man he did beat her until her skin is green and her clothes you cannot do that the man he have to sleep with you look what Muhammad said when the husband he said she told the lie which means she is claiming that he don't he cannot have even sex I'm very strong can satisfy her but she is disobedient and she want to go back to Rifa Rifa is the previous husband Allah messenger said to her if that is your intention then know that it is unlawful for you to remarry Rifa unless Abdul Rahman have sexual intercourse with you actually he did not say that he says you taste your juice and you taste his juice this is how savage is it is this conversation so the guy in the in the Jazeera TV website was saying that uh, now you are forcing the women to stay with the man well here we go in Islam you force the women anyway even your prophet is the, the women she don't want to sleep with the new husband 
your prophet is saying to her you cannot go back to the previous husband unless this guy here rape you literally because the woman she don't want to sleep with the man this is what the holy story is about you can read it slowly <clears throat> Yeah, we're explaining that anyway. This is what you are talking about. This is about the three time divorce. The three time divorce, you see, those are here. Verses about divorce in chapter 2, verse number 230. And the verse uh, 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 before it, speaking about uh, this case. If a man he divorced his wife three times, she cannot go back to her previous husband unless she go and have sex with the new guy. I mean, look what kind of cult this cult is. It is a very sexual, savage teaching. Well, the Quran gave the man three uh, the right of three divorce. It's in front of us. It's in the front of us, my friend. I just gave you chapter 2, verse number 229. All right? A divorce is only principle twice. After that, should either hold together, etc., blah, 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 blah. And then, if you wish me, if you divorce for the third time, and here he says, what will happen if you divorce three times? Then, if you divorce three times, she cannot go back to the previous husband unless she remarry again a new man and he sleep with her okay and this is why we are saying here the story where this woman her husband rifa she was divorced from rifa rifa is the real husband the first husband he divorced her and then abu abdul rahman he married her and this woman abu abdul rahman want to rape her because he was trying to force her into sex. He is your husband, yes, but he is forcing her in the bed. The women she don't want. So the man is beating her until he made her skin greener than her clothes. What Muhammad did? He took the side of the man who is forcing his women into sex, raping her. And Muhammad saying to her, oh, you cannot do that. He have the right to rape you. So the Prime Minister of uh, India, he did nothing really. Actually, what, what they did is stupid. Literally stupid. They just made it like as if it's a, vi a victory, but in fact, it's not a victory, it is nothing. So now what, the Muslim, he can divorce his wife twice, but not three times? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> I mean, his stupidity is amazing. Stupidity is amazing. I got some facts wrong. Why, Mr. Bengali? What do you mean I got some facts wrong? What is the fact wrong? This is what the law says. The law says triple divorce is now illegal only. You did not make the twice divorce illegal. You did not make it just a triple to say uh, only if you say three time in or in the same time you are divorced it's a crime okay so you can say it once and you can do it twice so what are you talking about and what is the change happen nothing it's like you know they were happy that uh, the saudi they allow women to drive but in fact, they did not allow the woman to drive because she had to get permission from her parents or from the man of the house. The prophet was against the triple divorce. Where is that? Where is that? Okay, if, if, if the prophet was against, just to show you the silly stupidity in this world, if the prophet against it, do you think the Muslim will practice it? How is going to be, how is the Muslim then they will practice something against the prophet wish? I mean, this is the most silly, stupid argument. What they're quoting, the prophet says that the most Allah thinks he hate is divorce. Supposedly he don't like divorce because he want the Muslim to make, to make babies. 
He said, I'm, I'm going to be proud about you in, the, in front of the nations. So go and do nikah. If the prophet against it, then how he make Quran about it, saying it's okay, do it. I mean, who is the silly here? Your prime minister, my friend, is an idiot. He's a certified idiot. Because the one who says you can do three time divorce is Allah. And no Muslim would do something against their prophet wish. And you know that. Not only they are practicing that, it is an Islamic law. So how it is an Islamic law and it's against the prophet wish? Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, this is the only way I think that they, they, they ban is saying it three times, but you can do it once and you can do it twice. <laughs> so what a different. <laughs> What the different? You know what is no different? I mean, this is the most silly, stupid law ever. And there, and and Moody, Mr. Moody, I, I'm not insulting this guy, by the way. But you know, in in, in the in the in the in the world of partition, they claim that they are making victory, but in fact, there's no victory there. Nothing changed. What is the victory? No victory. Nothing. Did you give the what about the women? What about they make a, a law says the women she can say to her husband they are divorced too. Hmm? That would be nice. Okay, let the man says that and the women she can do that too. Can she? No. Do you understand me? What do you mean you are not getting it? The guy who is saying you are not getting it. What do you mean you are not getting it? Nothing changed. Still, the law is the same. Because only you forbid them from saying trouble time, you are divorced. Did you forbid Muslims from divorcing their wife by text message? No. Did you forbid Muslims from divorcing their wife by email? No. Voice message? No. Making just a statement? No. All what you did, you just said, you cannot do it a three times. The whole practice is banned, not even once. What do you mean? No, you see the news saying triple talaq, instant divorce. None of them saying divorce by saying it. That's not true. Give me the law. Do you have a link for the law so we can read it? You see, let me show you. <clears throat> All the news agencies agree. And this is your prime minister. Let me go to his Twitter. Hold on. It's just about a three time divorce. Nowhere it's about okay. See, here we go. The triple talaq, the triple talaq, all of it, it's about a, 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 a abortion of a triple talaq. There's no stop for divorce by saying words. Do you see it? It's just about making it three times. Yes, it's about instant. Triple tall. Thank you. Well, this is an instant and there's delay. I mean, this is silly. Like, can you, uh, can you, uh, 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 like, you, you, you say to your wife, I want to divorce you next year. So I will say talak for you. It's valid from July uh, 2020. This is about instant. So this is about only saying three times triple talak. Talak mean in Arabic, divorced. So what? You did nothing. Are you getting my point? Can the man say it once? Yes. He can. This is not about stopping the divorce. This is about abusing women. Because by giving the man the right to fire you, anytime he wish, you are under threat. You can be homeless any second. So the man is controlling your life. This is not about divorce. No, the process of divorce is not waiting for three months. Three months if the man, he decides to take her back. 
if the man still the man the man the man the man why people are not why you don't educate yourself the man if he divorce you he can return you back before the, 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 the end of the period of three months if he step put you after that okay then he can return you but still it is the man but if he say you are divorced you are divorced that's it and if he say it twice, it says twice. If he say it three times, it's three times. So all what they do now, they forbid it from saying three times. Nothing changed. Nothing. If the woman she is carrying a child, she have to suffer with it, what she can do. The man is in control. The man, he can fire you. You are just an employee. It's like you are, you are working in a company and the boss, he says to you, you are fired. And now they claim that this is a victory. All right. Uh, National Socialist. Well, you know, the, the story of David uh, uh, about sending a man to kill his wife. This is about a crime David commit. This is not about a law. And there's a huge difference. And the funny people, they speak about the story of David. Supposedly, they think they are making a point. But you forgot that the one who wrote the story of David is a children of David. Ashamed of what their father did. David and his children, they were listening to this story about his crime. And they did not do anything about it. Which means they did not force people not to write this history. Do you see how amazing it is? And when David, he says to God, I'm going to build a temple for you. God said to him, I don't want your temple. You are a criminal. So people are silly. How you can compare between this and that? The Bible condemn the act of David. The Quran, make it a law. Silly people. And David himself, he cried to God asking for forgiveness. He was not proud about it. Hmm. Isn't it Suleiman, the son of David, he have a thousand wife? Can you give me the reference of the thousand? I heard there are 10,000. I think the number in your pocket is growing. Are you taking hashish? Do you have hashish? And let us say he have 10,000 wives. And you see, for us, when we speak to a silly, stupid idiot, we laugh at him for a very, very simple reason. When the Bible says that those who did such a thing, they commit a crime, and the Bible says it's forbidden for you to multiply your wives, and then you multiply your wife, that's mean you broke the law of God. So you are quoting for me about people who broke the law of God. Very stupid of you. So who is Solomon? Who is David? I just told you, David, he commit a crime. And even God, he says to him, you are a criminal. Very silly of you. If God says you can marry thousands of women, then you show me the verse so we can laugh at you or laugh at me. Very stupid. Nationalist. Very weak argument. Now, uh, you know, when somebody, he come to us with an argument, the argument usually is either it's coming from a smart person or somebody he is, this, he's, uh, he is desperate to, to say something, to take us away from our topic, but you cannot. Hmm? Now, listen. Yeah, but what is different if he said twice or three times? Does it doesn't make any different? I mean, what is different? So now the Muslim man, he can divorce his wife by saying, you are divorced. But he cannot say it three times. Well, thank you very much. This is how you protect women? That's the max you can do? <laughs> you know what I mean? What do you mean wrong regard the law? Okay, show me where it says that the Muslim man, he cannot divorce his wife by saying, you are divorced once or twice. What's wrong with you, Mr. Bengali? Even your prime minister saying triple talaq. So all what this, this story is about is about triple talaq. It's not about once or twice. It's about the triple thing. Right? 
Yeah. So so what, national? He was a king, and he was doing what he liked to do. This is why God he condemned him. Well, show me where God he says to Solomon go and marry uh, seven hundred women, or to David. Very silly, very stupid of you. Just a kid. Let us say time come and say somebody uh, and Christian Prince he did something wrong. You know he uh, he did uh, he sold the drugs. Are you going to say God? He said to Christian Prince sell drugs. Well, obviously you have a drugs in your head. If you can show me where God says to Solomon or to David, do what you did, you made victory, but you are an idiot. The Bible report history of what people do, including sin. Sin and crimes and good and bad. But the idiot of you, he think that he have something against us. You don't. That's a man who did something wrong. Not God who did something wrong. Going back to our topic. And this is what the whole story, they're trying to divert us from speaking about the stupidity of the Quran. When the Quran says that a man he cannot get back uh, uh, the woman she cannot get back to her husband unless she get a new husband. What is the wisdom of that? Anyone? Can you explain about Jesus giving right disgusting rabies to Mary? That's very that's very disgusting of you to say, my friend, because he's not giving right. Because this guy, you know, the, the stupidity of people is very weird. They are very angry because we are exposing their cult. Listen to this. If I show you your prophet, he practiced the same thing, you will bite your hand and you will say, sorry, this is true, this is correct. We should do that. What do you say? What do you say if I show you the same story from your prophet? HM1. If I saw you, or if, if I show you right now in the front of everybody, that this is what your prophet he practice. What do you will do? You will say it's okay. It's okay. You know, suddenly it's okay. But now it's a shame. The Bible, my friend, saying that if a man he rape a woman, either he will be killed, or if the family agree, which means the bride and the family agree to marry her to fix his what what he did, because this woman. We are talking about a very, very, very savage society. And people will judge this woman. Nobody will marry her after that. She is not virgin no more. So in order to avoid a very sad end for this woman, if she wants, she can marry this man. But it's not a choice for the rapist. Otherwise, the rapist will be killed, Abdul. Now, what is the punishment of a rapist in Islam? Can you show me, Mr. H.M.? Isn't it funny that the whole cult of Islam did not mention once a punishment for rapist? If you read the verses after it, you will see that the man, he will be killed. A man who lay down and he raped a woman, he will be killed. What is the punishment for rapist in the Quran? We are not twisting. Everybody can go and read it. What is the punishment of rape in the Quran? Are you ashamed to say that this is what Islam teach that rape is okay and there's no punishment for rape hmm? the verse actually in front of us promoting rape look at it the story we showed you the women she want to go back to the previous husband and now Muhammad is saying no you cannot go back unless the new husband have intercourse with you, which me rape you. The women she don't want. This is why the man he is beating her. The women she don't want. Muhammad he is forcing her into sex. Isn't it amazing that the whole cult of Islam? does not have anything against rape except this verse which is saying you can do rape women and now the women she have to go and find a new person just to sleep with her for a few nights and he divorce her which means she would be raped by a new strange man any Muslim have anything to say <clears throat> hmm? 
Yani ya Abdul. And you know when uh, uh, when a Muslim he caught for us a verse uh, from the Bible, you see always the Muslim they try to fool us and to lie to us. The the person who his name is H M M. Are you willing to call me in Skype right now? And I will make you read the verses from the Quran and from the Bible, the verses you choose for me. And I guarantee you, I will make everybody watching laugh at you. What do you think, guys? Do you dare to call me live? Well, here we go. You see, uh, what, ab what about you call me live? I will put the, the verse in the screen and you will read it. And either you are a liar or not. What do you say? <clears throat> Stupidity. Stupidity is amazing. Just to show everybody how we got them busted, even though this is out of our topic. Those are the verses about rape or about sexual relationship. If a man found laying with the women married to the husband, both of them they shall die. Where we can find that in the Quran? Nowhere. If a young woman who is virgin uh, is uh, uh, like uh, brother to husband and the man find her with the city, lies uh, lies with her, then you shall bring them both out of the gate of the city and you shall stone them to death. Okay. 25. But if a man find a young woman in the countryside and the man forces her and lies with her, then only the man who lay with her shall die. You see, he said to us, you know, said to us that the man he will not be killed, you know. But you shall do nothing to the young women. There is, uh, uh, there is a, the young women no sin deserving of death, for just as when a man rises against his neighbor and kills him, even so this matter. For he found her in the countryside and he brother the young women cried out So if the women she cried out she screamed, but nobody was able to hear her That means she is a free of guilt and she no commit no sin The story after that if a woman is sized by a man, but she did not cry, cry out They are found out so there's a man, let us say uh, you are you are, you know a man, you are dating him, and he grab you and he step with you, and then people they got you busted. That's mean this is not a rape, you donkey. Why you are lying? You see here, the woman she is raped, she cried out. This woman she does not cry out. But because they are singles. They are given opportunity to remarry so very very uh, very stupid argument very you know they think by lies they can make a difference you cannot and now everybody is laughing at you and we are waiting for a muslim to show us where in islam you cannot rape women actually i can show you a story where a woman she been raped and the caliphate he took the side of the man any Muslim <clears throat> any Abdul not a single verse in the Quran against rape you can go and search Google as much as you wish and not only that we are showing you that the Prophet he encouraged rape and by the way, your prophet himself is a rapist. You know, I don't talk to atheists because I will talk about what? You think you are an ape? I think I'm a human. So. I like to go to the zoo from time to time.
but not all the time and if I go there I like to take pictures of them not to talk to them where is the Muslims who were making argument what happened they hide they run Yeah, I find no point to speak to an atheist. I mean, what we will debate about what? He want to prove to me that one day he was a mosquito and today he is big, he's a better fly? What we will talk about? Uh, you know, uh, uh, atheism is just a theory. You see, they say to you, one of the funny things about atheists, they say to you, uh, we believe in science, but the fact they don't. They don't. They prove the Big Bang. The Big Bang is not science, it's a theory. It's just a theory the same as Darwinism it's a theory they say to you we have evidence your evidence have something against it S somebody else have different theory you don't believe in science you don't do you have a proof that you used to be uh, one day and uh, one micro uh, sales and they became uh, two micro sales and then became a three you know, it's a, th a theory all is a theory you don't believe in science but you try to force your science on others the same as Islam atheism and Muslims are the same by the way they force their ideas and their ideology on others and if you don't agree with them if the atheists are in control they will kill you too and the example is a China right the example is Lenin and the Soviet Union Every day, between five to six thousand people executed every morning with the coffee. The same as Muhammad. Now we go back to the victory, which is done by Mr. Moody, which is nothing but a joke. This guy is just trying to gain reputation that he is the per person who fix it, but he fixed nothing. He fixed nothing. This is a joke. This is just a political agenda to make himself we will accomplish something. So the the uh, the the one who support him say, hey, Moody. Suddenly, Moody he changed the mood, but nothing happened. Still, the Muslims divorced their wives by saying words. Nothing changed. The women she is abused. Nothing changed. Right? Nothing changed. What changed? Nothing. Uh, a nationalist, a nationalist, and uh, Mr. Hem, they want me now to explain the whole Bible. My friend, you would like the word Bible, you don't, I don't care. Who cares if you like it or not? And let me show you how stupid you are. Just to show you guys the stupidity of some people. This guy is saying to me, ZB. Can you explain to me, Judas, 21, 21, young women of Soleh, come out dancing during the festival. Come out and, uh, okay, each of them wife uh, for us, uh, for me, uh, so. <laughs> you know, my friend, in, I, I like the Chinese. They have an old saying. They say he left as a donkey. He never came back as a horse. And what, what this story here is, is going to do for you, my friend? Is it going to prove a point for us? What is the point you're trying to say to us? So we can laugh with you. Otherwise, everybody is laughing at you. What do you think? What this is have now, what, what this is will prove to us? In Judas 21, brother. What is this? Brother. Uh, nothing. It's you just being stupid. Do you think we did not read our Bible? We do not know what is written there. We laugh at the claims you you know you come with. Same time, you know, uh, when when somebody he tried to make a statement, always take my advice. If you are a Christian, those who choose uh, lines from the Bible, they choose a line for a purpose. They don't choose the Bible; they choose a line. And the Bible is a book telling us stories about people do bad and do good. He chose that line 
because simply he think he can bring something against us but the coward he will not dare to call me and I will make him read the line and I either people will laugh at me or will laugh at you what do you say mr. nationalist do you like to call me and read that line from chapter 21 in the front of everybody what do you say what do you say stupid 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 donkey he lived as a donkey he never came back as a horse are you there nationalist do you want to call me and either you prove that you are a horse or you are a donkey if you don't call me what do you say do you want to prove to me that you are a horse the same as the other guy we prove him to be donkey the verse in the front of us it says nothing bad it says that this is what people did but not God did stupid silly 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 come to daddy it come to daddy come 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 I have a new diaper for you <laughs> My friend, you just made a victory like the victory of Moody. All right. I am wrong about not what, Mr. Bengali. Can a Muslim still divorce his wife by saying to her, you are divorced or not? Mr. Bengali, give me the answer. Can the Muslim man still divorce his wife by saying you are divorced? If he did it once, can he do that? Yes or no? Are you there, Bengali? No, no, tell me, tell me. You can share the link, no problem. Can you tell me the answer? Can a Muslim man still divorce his wife by saying to her one time you are divorced? Can he or he cannot? Bengali, can you give us the answer, please? Did not do do not once it is not divorce in India. What means is not divorce in India? So how three times is divorce in India? One is not divorced since when? This is this stupid. You see, India go is the Islamic family law govern the Muslims in India. So don't tell me there's no divorce by once. A Muslim he divorced his wife, and this is the most popular, not the three time. Three time is the extreme, which means when somebody he said it first time and then he's saying doing it the second time and then he did it third time but the most popular one is I are divorced now show me my friend that there's no divorce in India if there's no divorce in India by once there's divorce by three are you silly Hmm? All of this is just a political agenda and you know, Mr. Modi, he want to go for election next year or whatever time and he will say I made a victory. I changed the law, but nothing really changed. And by the way, why Mr. Modi don't give the Muslim women the right to say to the man you are divorced as long as he is defending the women. Hmm? <clears throat> he is right there's no divorce one time in India what do you mean there's no divorce one time in India isn't it as aren't they Muslims in India they are Muslims and the divorce in Islam is one time not three time three time is the one to be final which means she cannot get back to him without marrying a new man that what three time mean You have no idea what are you talking about? Here we go. This is the Quran. Three time will enforce the women to go and find a new husband so she can go back to the old husband. 
the divorce is happened by saying one time you are divorced not twice not three but if you say three time that's mean that's final to the point she cannot come back to him that's all otherwise all divorce are final by one time or two or three but the final thing about the three one she cannot get back to him are you getting the point which means he cannot remarry her unless she go marry a new man and get back Uh, uh, him you know uh, people people are laughing at you anyway uh, I like to twist things like your prophet and that's why I twist his arm every day we are done with you Abdul we got you busted I challenge you to call me and you run away you are a coward I have no time for kids the verses are there people they can go and read the interpretation just type the verse number the chapter number type next to it interpretation everybody will laugh at you Shame on you. You know, when we say something about Islam, we go and we show the reference of the interpretation according to Islam, not according to Mr. Christian Prince. So do you see it, my friend? Divorce in Islam is not by saying three times. There's nothing it's called, by the, by the way, saying three times. It's about saying it one time. But if you repeat saying you are divorced one time, and then again one time, and then again one time, then this is a three time so all of Islam divorce is one time and if you reach the point of a three time then she cannot go back to the husband unless she marry a new husband and the verses in the front of you are not making things up so just by saying the word talaq anti talaq she is divorced he do not need a court He do not need anything and Muslim they don't go by is by, by your law in India my friend the Muslim they practice in their their own law even in USA here a Muslim he said to his wife you are Talik she's Talik you know now she go to uh, to USA court to protect her right this is a different story but still they are practicing their law between them how they get married they go to the mosque they, they, they read Al-Fatiha which is nothing you know, they open their hands and now she is his wife. All what you need is two witnesses. The divorce even do not need witnesses. There's no need for witnesses. Just anything. He say it to her, even if it's a text message. Let me show you. If a man, he say, by text message to his wife, you are divorced. It's accepted by all Islamic countries. That is a divorce. It's just pronouncing the will to divorce the women. And if you if you if you announce it, then that's it. She is not your wife no more. You know. If you search in the Prophet Google. You will find tons of reference. Can divorce occur by text messaging or email? And the answer is yes. Because all of what it's about, it's about announcing yourself to say, uh, I want to divorce you. Right? And all Islamic court accept text message as divorce. My friend, the only one who don't understand Islam is you Indian Hindus. You want to convince me that a Muslim who is practicing simple law, it's called the marriage and divorce, you do not know what is the practice? Are you kidding me? You want to convince me that from the 10,000 TV station teaching Indian Muslims about Islam, not even one of them explained to them what divorce and how to divorce is? You want to convince me that a brother that can make he did not explain to them how to do the brother are you trying to convince me Zach and Nike did not explain it <laughs> what are you talking about <laughs> we are just talking about divorce 
it's not like about understanding Islam. It's just a divorce. Eh, all of them. This is what the Muslims are busy with: marrying, divorcing, marrying, divorcing. They don't do anything else. No, there's no such a thing as saying three times divorce to divorce. That's not that's not true. You say three times, you say three times, or you say once it is a divorce. That's what Islam is. So if you are saying to me that in India, the Muslim, they divorce only by saying three times, that is very silly. I never heard of such a thing because it doesn't matter how many times you say it. If you say you are divorced by three, that's mean you made it final to the point she cannot return to you no more. That's it. If you say you are divorced only once, then you have a three month period to have her back. On if you don't, then she is divorced. Then you can marry her again. Then you can divorce her again. But if you divorce her a second time and you marry her, then if you divorce her for the third time, then she cannot get back to you. Anyway, if I am wrong about what the 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 contain what the law contain, uh, well, I hope so. Uh, for me, what I see that they are saying that he uh, abolished the uh, the men divorcing women by saying a, a trouble time. But if this is mean that they stop Muslim men from divorcing their wife by saying words, that would be wonderful. If it's not, then he did nothing. Kabich, do you understand me, Mr. Bengali? If you are saying that the law forbid Muslim men from saying just a few words to divorce their wife, that would be wonderful. That would be perfect. That's mean he made really a victory. But if not, it's just only about saying three time divorce, then you did nothing. There is different sect in Islam in India. It doesn't matter. You see, this is Quran. You see, Islamic sect, they differ about something most of the time if there is no uh, Quran proof of it. Let us, let us say it's a topic of uh, yes or no. But if it is clear, then all schools have to agree with you, with, with, with that. And the Quran is very clear about this. This is the only verse, maybe. Uh, so, okay, so somebody's saying, Okay, correct. Verbal divorce is banned now with the bill. Echo. If this is if this is the case, that's mean he did really good. You see, for me, I judge by what I read. What I read it says that triple words saying that the word divorce three times is banned. For me, this is mean nothing. But if by saying words by your lips, divorcing wife, uh, that is banned in total, that will be good. Okay. Anyway, you know your law better than me. If it is, uh, uh, if this is the case, then that's good. But in, in the end of the day, still the Muslim woman, she is abused and she have no right. What is her right? Why the man? Okay, all those years in India. India is the majority of a Hindu country. All those years now, I mean, where they win for the last uh, hundred year since they have their independent. Same time, why they don't give the women the right? You know, if I am the prime minister, I will say, okay, Muslims, that we will give the Muslim women the right to say to you, talak too, equal right. You like Sharia law? Okay, we will practice a new Sharia law where it says, whatever you do to the women, we will give her the right to do to you. Which means if you have the right to beat the wife, we will give the women the right to beat you up. That would be wonderful. You like to say to the women you are divorced, the women she can say to you, you are divorced too. Hmm? As simple as that. She can fire you. You like to spank the women, we will give the women the right to spank you. That would be good. But they don't do that. Still the women, she is the weak person and they did nothing really much. <clears throat> uh, 
is the Quran directly from God? Which God, my friend? <laughs> is Quran coming from God? I mean, what is there from God in this book? Have we ever heard of a God? He says if a husband divorces his wife three times, then he cannot get her back unless she do boom boom with a new guy. I mean, what is the wisdom about this? The Muslim they will say to you, oh, because now the man he will think one hundred times before he divorced his wife. Why he will think about it? Because the guy, if he care, he will not divorce her anyway. He don't care. If you divorce the woman, she can go and sleep with a new husband anyway. She can marry a new husband. He don't care. Here you are punishing the women because now the women. You know what, what happened to women women they are very emotional and women they sacrifice for the sake of their children so even if the man is bad and he is abusing the women the women still she is willing to go back to an abused husband just for the sake of her babies because the father will keep the children's so he divorced her and now she cannot go back to her children's so what she have to do go and find a new man sleep with him for a couple of days and go back to the previous husband where is justice in this no justice all right no justice where is justice justice doesn't work this way Why do Muslims dye their hair head in India, Pakistan, Afghanistan? Well, national national socialist, I thought you know everything. And we are asking me. You're an atheist. Atheists, they know everything. They know about the Big Bang. They know about what is in the Bible. They know what is in the Old Testament. And now the redhead didn't know about it, national. How come, national? How come? You are very cute. <laughs> oh boy uh, still he left as a donkey he never came back as a horse uh, do we have any Muslim want to say something oh, come on just use your Google your favorite method to search for things aren't you a Google boy you learn from Google Do we have any Mohammedan? <clears throat> the way I say so cute. What's wrong with about it? What? I'm saying it wrong? Cute? I mean, this guy, he cannot even say one word in English correctly. Unbelievable. Each time I make a, a phone a conversation to a company, they ask me, where are you from? I like your accent. And you know, like my accent, where are you from? I say, I'm an alien. I happen because of the Bing Bang theory. Cute. Yeah. So, do we have any Muslim here? <clears throat> Pakistan, yeah, Pakistan. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Pakistan, huh? Do we have any Abdul? There's no Abdul. So what uh, what those people are asking me for? One asked me to say Q, the other one asked me to say Afghanistan, the other one is saying to me, say Pakistan. What's wrong with you people? You see, this is what happened when you talk to people at 1.37 a.m. in the morning. People, I think, uh, what happened? Either the food was so heavy or it was the beer. <clears throat> Pakistan means leftover stain in Hindi. Well, <clears throat> languages, you know, languages they have different meaning any Abdul my favorite chimpanzee what what do you mean my favorite chimpanzee 
Ah, uh, look like people in this chat. Every one of them, he have a favorite of my words. He like to hear it. So I'm going to write them down, and like every day, we start our uh, talk. We say like say chimpanzee, cute. Um, what is that, man? What's happening here? Lipstick. <laughs> By the way, it's funny. The English is funny. How in the world this has became like lips and stick? And if you look at it, it's not a stick, really. I mean, crazy English, isn't it? Lips is stick. Huh. Okay. Man. <clears throat> so, any Abdul? What about the women giving divorce in Islam? Uh, by the way, in in uh, uh, Muslim women, they can divorce their husband if they meet a condition. But this is only some Islamic sect accept that. If they make a condition before they get married, that she is the one who have the right of divorce. And if the man, which means the man, he have to give his right to the women. But this is not for all Islamic sect. Very few of them accept that. So like if a woman, let's say the man that he's desperate to marry you, you can say, okay, Abdul, I will marry you, but in one, in one condition, in the contract, because this is contract, it's not a marriage, it's a contract of employment. You give the right of firing me to me, which means I can fire you, but you cannot fire me. So the woman here in this case, she can say, you are taliq, you are divorced. But this is a very rare situation and usually only desperate men they will give their right to the women so they can do that to them usually like a poor man marrying a very rich woman so he's just whatever she want Sheikh Rohi is here how are you Rohi you want to call me Sheikh Rohi I don't know if uh, Sheikh Rohi, you want to call me? Really, you want to call me? What do you want to say us to Sheikh Rohi? Let us open uh, Skype. Uh, sorry, pal talk. <clears throat> we can have a uh, short conversation with uh, Dr. Rohi. All right. I open my pal talk for you. So you can text me. <coughs> okay, Dr. Rohi, you can call me. I don't see you online actually. Are you online, Dr. Rohi? How come you are not there? Oh, I see you now. Hello? Hello. Hey, Dr. Rohi. Hello. Uh, how are you? Salam. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. You are the one in the chat, right? You, know, you are the one who said you want to talk to me? Like, uh, yes, and uh, uh, and try to speak on uh, YouTube. Try to speak on YouTube, alhamdulillah. Okay, so you want to talk here or you want to just uh, chat in text? You want to talk? You want to share something? May we speak uh, on YouTube? Try. I don't uh, to speak and not in Balto. But All right, no problem. No problem. Okay, my friend. Take care. Sorry, oh. I thought you want to call me here. Okay, take care. In Balto. All right. 
Well, I don't know what to say to you, Impad. I mean, YouTube, YouTube, you are welcome. Dr. Rohi is a uh, he have a PhD from Malaysia University. Uh, he knows a lot about Islam. He can answer any question you give him except the one which you want the answer for. Like all those who have a PhD in Islam. I never met one of them, he can answer anything. As long as your question is about shaving your underarm, they know the answer. The second you ask serious question, they have no idea. Like they have tons of TV stations that you call, and the women she call, Assalamu alaikum, wa alaikum assalam, sister. Uh, can I shave my underarm? Yeah, sister, there is rules, and he start and they start telling her what the rules. And as long as you are asking silly question, I mean, all of them they are educated. The second you ask something serious, they have no idea. Once a Muslim lady, she called the sheikhs, and she said to them, you know, she was speaking in a very, very, you know, I mean, I don't know how to explain to you, but she was saying to them that my sister told me that when I take off my clothes in the front of the fish tank, the fish, they start shaking. The guy in the TV, the sheikh, he starts shaking himself. And he sweat, and the other guy gave him water, and both they start drinking water. And then, <clears throat> a sister, I think those fish, I think, well, uh, sister, they have a genie inside them, and they are looking at your pure, beautiful body, sister. Pure, beautiful body. Did you see how she looked like yet? Flirting in TV right away. And then she said, oh, but uh, uh, what I would do, he said, I advise you, sister, uh, to change the room, uh, take off your, uh, change your clothes in different room. She said, but this is the only room I have. What I will do? The guy is sweating so hard and, okay, sister, I think what about, uh, what about you cover the fish tank with the blanket, sister? What the heck? Millions of Muslims listening to this? Fish, they are shaking because they saw her legs? You know what? I used to have a fish tank. And I notice that the female fish between them, when I take off my clothes, they go crazy. Because especially I'm a Middle Eastern, and I look so crazy. Fish! They are claiming that the fish is masturbating. There's inside them, there is a genie. Have you ever heard of origin like this? Yes, Dr. Rohi believe that there's a genie inside the fish. A genie, he can be inside the dog. A genie, he can be inside the snake. A genie, he can be a lizard. A genie, he can be a man. So you take off your clothes in the front of the fish tank, uh, the genie inside the fish will start. He's excited, like, ooh. And uh, I can imagine the fish saying to the other fish, which means the other genie, do you see what I see? Yes, brother. Her panty is pinky. Did you see that? Yes, brother, I saw that. And not only that, actually, the Muslim, they believe that they can have sexual relationship with genie. Do you have a link for that? For what? For a TV show? This is all I was watching live in the satellite. This is was a long time ago. I wish we have a recording of it. You can search right now in the Prophet Google, peace upon him, about sex with genie, and you will see tons of Muslims speaking about. Them. Yes, it's true. Actually, if you have my book, uh, Sex and Allah, you will see reference. About even women, they have bushes. Their bushes is in fire because they were having sexual intercourse with genie brother. <clears throat> Let us see. I 
And by the way, many people did think that jinn or genie in Islam is a demon, like in Christianity. That's not true. That's not true. Genie are physical creatures made of fire. They are not demon. They are not a spirit. Look at this story here. Can a jinn perform sex with your wife? Question. Assalamu alaikum. Shaykh Hashim. We change it to make it Shaykh Rahi. I am married for 24 years. My marriage was not been one that I can be happy about. Many arguments have filled by marriage. My marriage. About four years ago, my wife starting changing. I have noticed that should we should have uh, sorry, she would be sexually aroused, oh, which I have not seen before in her sleep. And when I wake her up, uh, she is angry with me. I need your help since my marriage is heading into divorce. Well, obviously, you idiot, your wife, she is, she, uh, this guy does not know what the problem yet. <laughs> Let it go. I'm not going to say it. no comment. And then a sheikh is answering, she's right. In the sense of sexual dream, like nightmares or dream illusion, holm from shaitan, all his sense, inspiration, blah 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 blah. And then he's advising the man to say, Brother, recite what dude, what dude, what dude, what dude, one hundred times daily. If, 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 if you say what dude what dude what dude what dude 100 time you will stop your sexual dream yes brother because the by by the time you finish saying them you will be sleeping <laughs> or tired all right now let us go to the real business here as for the another question title hidden okay shake is now imam okay i say okay he said the truth the truth guys look at this this is the truth the truth that's it the truth is that is it possible for a human being and jinn to have sexual intercourse Ooh. this is the truth you like it you don't this is the truth this is the truth you leave your wife alone in the bedroom you come back home you find her with the genie yes brother and actually, Muhammad, he said that if you don't say a certain prayer, you can ask Dr. Roh, he is in the chat. If you if you uh, if you don't say a certain prayer before in, uh, sexual intercourse, Shaitan, who is a genie, Shaitan himself is a genie. He will round himself around the private part of the man, and he will be doing the women with the man. And this is why the Quran says that he will share with you your children's. You believe it? That is Islam, my friend. And you know, like for me, if I ever get married before I have sexual intercourse with my wife, I'm going to stay like five for seven days praying. If each time she take off her clothes, I will say, What do it, what do it, what do it, what do it, what do it. And then I have to say a certain prayer, etc. I have to say certain prayer, you know. Uh, 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 let me let me find you the hadith. Uh, I'm sure Dr. Rahi is enjoying this now. They will practice it tonight. Yeah. Uh, okay. Let us go to the hadith. All right, you see, Allah Apostle said, if any one of you, when intending to have sexual relationship with his wife, say, Bismillah, Alhamdulillah, Allahumma zannibna saytana wa zannib saytana ma razaktana. You have to say it in Arabic, by the way. If you say it in English, oh boy, it doesn't work. Satan would never harm the child. How he harmed the child? Ask Dr. Rahi. The child will be the son of shaitan because shaitan will round himself around the private part of the man and he will be doing the wife, which means we will have a threesome. Is that correct, Dr. Rohi? Are you in Paltok now? Okay. 
Hey, let me call you and pal talk now. I don't know. I called you and pal talk. You said no. Let us call Dr. Rohi and pal talk. <clears throat> okay, Dr. Rohi, I am in pal talk. And let us see where are you? Where are you? You know, I open my pal talk, I find like a thousand PM. All right. Hello? Salam. Salam, salam, Dr. How are you, my friend? So what do you think? Uh, what do you think about our topic? And how are you, my friend? I'm all right. Yes. Don't uh, cause that a problem to me. Hear me, me. I hear you, but the voice is cutting. I don't know. Okay. Are you there? I hope Dr. Rohi is not using the internet of the neighbors as the rest. Maybe he is using the internet of the mosque. <clears throat> Call me back, Dr. Rohi. I'm waiting for you. This is a very hot topic, by the way. Very hot. And the Muslims would love to talk about it. Are you there, Dr. Rohi? What happened? Dr. Rohi is gone. <clears throat> anyway, I don't know. I don't know if he's coming back or not. But maybe not. Oh... Uh, All of you, by the way, if you want to have sexual intercourse with your wife, you have to say this prayer. Otherwise, shaitan will do boom, boom with you to your wife. Mean. Threesome, you and the shaitan and your wife. <laughs> what the heck? So now there is like hundreds of millions. My dad, my dad, he did not say that too. Unbelievable. Me, oh boy, I don't want to imagine that. What happened? Oof, 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 must be a true story. <laughs> that is Islam, my friend. That is Islam, nothing but silly, it's just a silly cult. Actually, yeah, Muslims, they believe, like as an example, the man should not sleep in his stomach because shaitan, he might do, you know. Mm. 
What happened to uh, Sheikh Ruhi? Yeah, and the other guy he says the truth is. Do you see that? You see when they say the truth, when a Muslim he say the truth is, that's mean things is messed up. <laughs> the truth. This is the truth, brother. Brother, this is the truth. The truth is that it is possible for a human being and jinn to have sexual intercourse. And a Talabi mentioned in his tafsir that the meaning of and be O Iblis, partner of their human, a human being, worth and children, chapter 17, verse number 64. Al Hakim al Turmudi, etc., he says in etc. reference, and Ibn Jarir and Al Tabari, etc., he said, when a man has intercourse with his wife and does not name Allah, the jinn round himself around his beep and he has intercourse along with him do you see it do you see it tickle, 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 tickle. Uh, by, by the way this is the truth this is the truth i don't know if it's polite to ask women how it feel when you have sex with your husband and you are not a muslim do you feel anything do you feel there is a third person <laughs> Oh, I love it. I love it. This is so, so cute. Very cute. This is very cute. Very cute. Religion. I mean, who can deny this? This is the truth. You see, look, you guys, why you are not believing? Look, it says here the truth is this is the truth. This is not just like a no, this is the truth. It's a fact. It's like. They remind me of the big bang of the of the of the atheist. This is the big bang of Islam. <laughs> big bang. Oh boy. Oh, Doctor Rohi is back. Hold on, he's calling. Yes, doctor. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum. Sorry, I have a problem in it's connection. Right. No uh, problem. No problem. Uh, thank you. Thank you, my friend. No problem. So, uh, Dr. Rohi, we were talking about, uh, I don't know if you heard me, that uh, the Muslims believe, and you are a Muslim, uh, that if you don't say the prayer before you have intercourse with your wife, shaitan will round himself around the Muslim penis, and he will be doing the wife. What do you think about that belief? لا it is a metaphor, uh, my friend. Ah, uh, metaphor? No. How this is metaphor? I mean, shaitan here around around your penis, and this is metaphor. Explain to us this metaphor, yes? Uh, no, where the hadith that said uh, that? Uh, please. Now you don't know where is the hadith. Are you serious, Doctor Rohi? Are you well, serious? Please show me the hadith. It's in the front of you on the screen, and hold this reference all in the front of you. No, I uh, now I am uh, not in uh, YouTube. Uh -huh. I don't see the. Okay, hold on. There, uh, All right, hold on. Let me show you the reference. <coughs> I will give you a link. So you can read. And I will give it to you in Arabic. All right. All right, this is Fathul Bari Bi Sharhi Sahih al Bukhari, value number nine. And I will read for you in Arabic, page number 137. Okay, read it, please. All right, let us see. Uh, here we go. It says, Kamaja and Mujahid. أن الذي يجامع ولا يسمي يلتف الشيطان على إحليله فيجامع معه. The mic is yours. Translation from Mujahid, he said, 
that the one who do have sex with his wife and he don't say that a prayer the shaitan the Satan will round himself around his penis and he do his wife with him it is from uh, uh, from who not from the from it is from Mujahid this saying from Mujahid not so from are you saying Mujahid is a stupid Allah are you saying Allah. are you saying Mujahid is a stupid no no this is uh, his few uh, okay this is his opinion well isn't it uh, isn't it the opinion. Quran says that he take partner with you and your prophet he says you have to say prayer before you have sex with your wife Yes, they say prayer because uh, you want the, your children to be righteous uh, and uh, you help uh, our, your God to, in this uh, children, not to uh, the shaitan with you and uh, make uh, intercourse. So if no, you, no, if you say a prayer true. and you have, well, you have to say the prayer before the sex. If this is not about shaitan having sex, as we had said, Muslims say prayer in every uh, the work he do in eating. No, no, no. This is not a true. This is not a true. The car no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Your prophet said that this is a certain prayer. Certain prayer you have to say before intercourse, not just a prayer. You have to repeat exactly certain words. Correct. yes okay so this we, is only uh, for for sexual we, intercourse you have to say allahumma jannibna qala bismillahi allahumma jannibna shaytana wa jannibna shaytana ma razaqtana all right falam yuqdir baynahuma waladun fi dhalika lam yudru shaytan so your prophet saying clearly because if you didn't make this, this prayer obviously shaytan will not be the father of this child because the quran said that allah he said that shaitan he take partner with you with your children's correct yes okay uh, let me read the hadith if uh, the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said if anyone uh, intend to have uh, sexual intercourse with his wife he should say bismillah allahumma uh, jannibna shaitan wa jannibu shaitan ma razaqtana hmm. Uh, in the name of Allah, oh Allah, keep us away from Satan and keep Satan away from what you have bestowed upon us. Mm. And it, Allah has uh, ordered a child from them. Okay, Satan will I will never go with you. Harm, harm him. Okay, what harm? What harm? Shaitan Satan would do? What, not, what harm? Shaitan would do to your child based on this? As harm Satan, like what? Like what? Uh, Jesus, when he born. Do you read in the Quran? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. uh, so how come this prayer does not work with any one of you? It work only with Jesus. From Jesus, from no. all human no. beings. Okay, uh, uh, Doctor so Rohi. Doctor Rohi. Doctor Rohi. To teach okay. us when Shaitan he cannot prayer. harm you. What does that mean? Shaitan will make you a sinner, or what? What Shaitan cannot harm? Mean. You will make you yes, commit maybe sin. Make you sin okay. Do you are you a sinner? About, are you, uh, uh, did you commit I, sin, I, I uh, Doctor Rohi? Since you are born, since you are born until now, did you commit sin or no? Yes. Uh, okay. So the prayer of your father sin. did not do anything. What the point? Did your your father? He uh, said. You said your father. He prayed for you before he have intercourse, and you commit sin. So this is not about committing sin, obviously, because here we go, the you are committing prayer, sin. The prayer, the prayer hmm. for committing uh, during the intercourse uh, with wife. How do you, how, I, I am how you commit I sin am during the intercourse? The new, what, do, what do you mean committing me, sin? What do you mean a prayer committing me, sin during the prayer, during the intercourse? How you, what, what sin you are committing when you do intercourse? Which is your wife. Yes, okay. Uh, I read in the newspaper uh, mm. recently there uh, two uh, two husband mm. uh, they threw himself from the window mm. uh, during the intercourse. Mm. Uh, maybe his wife she was, was she, she is so big and beautiful yes. she threw him out. Maybe the they maybe commit, she turned the uh, fan on, on and he is very very skinny. I mean, what does have to do with my topic, my friend? This is about sin, not about somebody throwing himself from the window. So I'm asking you now, 
You said that you commit sin, and I commit sin to everybody commit sin. We are saying now, if this is a prayer, you will forbid Shaitan from making you commit sin. That means this prayer is not working, it's useless. But this is not what your prophet saying. This is why Mujahid said that this is because if you don't say this prayer, Shaitan, he will round himself around your private part. And by the way, not only Mujahid, he says that there's tons of scholars. You see here in this, uh, in this uh, uh, website, they have tons of reference of a scholar saying that. Uh, Mujahid, not a prophet. We take My the, friend, our knowledge from okay. the Quran and from the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Mm. Not we took uh, our but knowledge the Quran our says, from but the Mujahid. Quran says, uh, but the Quran says that uh, Allah, uh, 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 the Shaitan, he sh he he share with you your children, right? Chapter seventeen, verse no, number no, sixty-four. Not, not, yes, not this uh, meaning. Uh, what do you mean? Not this meaning. This the meaning. What do you mean? This meaning to share with your children that uh, Satan, hmm. uh, he uh, if he uh, if you if you say to your uh, children to your son, hmm. uh, go don't do evil, don't make these things. Hmm. Uh, he he not listen to you, but listen to Satan hmm. that he said to him, uh, not uh, obey your father, uh, do this. Uh, walk with uh, your evil friend, hmm. uh, so it, etc. Hmm. Not uh, share with uh, that is share that he listen to. Okay, this is the interpretation uh, of who? This, that is the interpretation of your. This is the interpretation of your prophet. Okay, hold on, uh, Doctor Rahi. Is that the interpretation of your prophet? No. Okay, no, you see, guys, look, look at this. Dr. Rohi a second ago, he says to us, it's not the one who says that, it's the prophet, it's Mujahid, he said. And now he is accepting interpretation of someone is not the prophet. And here we see the hypocrisy. If you don't accept anyone except the prophet, then you should not accept any interpretation except the prophet interpretation. But this is what you do. You don't like what Mujahid said because it's very embarrassing. So you say, oh, I accept only the prophet saying that. And when I ask you, okay, what does this mean? You give me interpretation is not said by the prophet. So what you do, you know, we play the game hide and seek. You tell me interpretation, I tell you interpretation. And you tell me interpretation which not would make Islam not look, 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 look stupid. And th that is showing me that you are not being honest with me, Dr. Rahi. Sorry to say that. Why you are giving me interpretation is not by the Prophet. You just told me, we go by what the Prophet said. Yes, where are the Prophet saying, please? No, you are, I ask you about this verse. I said, is that what the Prophet said? You said, no. You said this is not the interpretation of the prophet. So give me the interpretation of the prophet about this verse. Otherwise, why you are giving me interpretation of, of, of someone is not the prophet? If you go by people who they are not the prophet, then you have to go by Mujahid too, because Mujahid is one of the biggest names in Islam. Correct or no? He's not like a Mikathir. He's a lot higher. He's not Al Qurtubi. He's not a Tabari. He's a lot higher. So you cannot say I'm not. I'm going to ignore Mujahid. Mujahid, he learned from who? He learned from your prophet. Are you are you accusing we, Mujahid to be a fabricator? Are you willing to no, say no, that he, this guy Mujahid is a liar? No, no. Okay, as long as he's not a liar, not this a this liar. is mean. This is not his opinion because Muslims they don't supposedly the the companion of the Prophet they don't fabricate things supposedly they are the good ones and they are saying what they heard from the Prophet. So either you say this guy is a crazy saying stupid things I don't agree with him, or you say that this guy is decent and he is a companion and he is saying the truth. Because there's no middle way. You have no right to fabricate meaning. Your prophet did not say, or the Quran did not mean. So either he is speaking with knowledge, or he's a liar. There's no middle way. Uh, my friend, you must uh, understand the first. The first, what uh, the first said. وَاسْتَفْزِزْ مَنْ اسْتَطَعْتَ مِنْهُمْ بِصَوْتِكَ وَأَجْلِبْ عَلَيْهِمْ بِخَيْلِكَ وَرَجِلِكَ وَشَارِكُمْ فِي الْأَمْوَالِ وَالْأَوْلَادِ وَعِدْهُمْ وَمَا يَعِدُهُمُ الشَّيْطَانُ إِلَّا غُرُورًا So how the Satan share uh, people with uh, her money? Mm. Uh, now uh, let me, uh, let me uh, search the English for the translation for, the, for this ayah, please. Mm. Let me search for... I uh, see the translation, please. please. Look what I'm saying in front of me. It says here, 
وقولهم والأولاد اختلف أهل التأويل في صفة شركته شركة بني آدم في أولادهم فقال بعضهم يشاركهم إياهم فيهم بزناهم بأمهاتهم شيطان he do adultery with their mothers what do you say about the interpretation شارككم في الأموال والأولاد لحظة هذا My computer is heavy Please Your computer must be heavy I mean imagine you have the Quran there Yes مثلا لدي أنا الآن تفسير ابن عشور وأجلب عليه هو ابن عشور Scholars of recent scholars Okay, but he is a recent scholar, no? Yes. So why you are taking Ibn yeah. Ashur, but you are not taking Mujahid, someone who lived in the time of the Prophet? <laughs> Ibn Ashur, the guy who is not even an Arab, he is going to explain what the Prophet Muhammad said 1400 years ago, and Mujahid who lived with the Prophet, he did not know what he's talking about. That's what you are saying to me. But now I, uh, I search in Ibn Kasir. Yeah. Okay, so Ibn Kathir. Ibn Kathir too is a is a is a late guy. He's not you know he came more than six hundred years after Muhammad. Or eight hundred years actually. What Ibn Kathir said. Ibn Kathir. And share them uh, with uh, the wealth and the children. Ibn Abbas and Mujahid said the means what he commands them to do of uh, spending money in uh, this uh, obedience to Allah. Hmm. May he to may be uh, exalted. This is what the Mika uh, is saying. And yes, yes, the, I copy to you in. Uh, okay, I copy to you too. Here we go. Ibn Kathir in front of me. I'll read for you, Ibn Kathir. It I says, copy to you. No, no problem. No. I copy for you too. Here we go. It says, Oh, be zina be ummi he, oh, be cutly he, oh, what the he, oh, gayra dharik. So, Shaitan, Shaitan doing adultery with his mother. So, why, how come you did not see that? This is Ibn Kathir. And I will give you the link. Here we go. This is Ibn Kathir. So, Dr. Rohi, he see only what he like to see. They have a very sharp uh, eyes, Dr. Rohi, but he see always things which he like. Hmm. Yes, uh, yes, I open the link, please. Mm -hmm. <coughs> the one is asking, Dr. Rohi have a PhD in Islam from Al Azhar University. He's a sheikh and he's a doctor. Uh, what the uh, whole uh, this is Ibn Kasir? Okay. Yeah, this is a big thing. وقول واستفزز من استطاع منهم بصوت قيل هو الغناء قال مجاهد باللهو والغناء أي استخفهم بذلك وقال ابن عباس في قوله واستفزز من استطعت منهم بصوتك قال كل داع دعا إلى معصية الله عز وجل وقال قتادة واختاره ابن جرير وقوله تعالى وأجلب عليهم بخيلك ورجلك يقول وحمل عليهم بجنودك خيالتهم ورجلتهم فإن الرجل جمع جمع راجل كما أن الركبة 
جمع راكب وصحب جمع صاحب ومعناه تسلط عليهم بكل ما تقدر عليه وهذا أمر قدري كقول تعالى ألم تر أن أرسلنا الشياطين على الكافرين تأزهم أزا أي تزعجهم إلى المعاصي زعاجا فتسوقهم إليها سوقا وقال ابن عباس ومجاهد وأجلب عليهم بخيلك ورجلك قال كل راكب وماش في معصية الله وقال قتادة إن له خيلا ورجالا من الجن والإنس وهم الذين يطيعونه إلى نهاية is a lot so I okay, you see it says okay why you stop it says oh bizzina bi ummihi so if you do uh, shaitan he do adultery with his mother well I research for this uh, it's in the front so. of me here we go غير الذي ارتضاه الله او بالزنا بامه او بقتله او وادهه او غير ذلك من الامور etc here is my here is the front of me ibn kasir in our my library وشاركهم في الاموال الاولاد معنى الشركه فيه بمعنى دون المعنى فكل ما عصى الله فيه او به واطيع فيه الشيطان او به فهو مشاركه اي اوكي سو ليت اس ميك اوكي 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 that anyone who disobey Allah is sharing his children with the shaitan. So what does prayer have to do with doing, stopping that? I mean, so you, you are saying to me, if you say that the prayer, that will stop anything from happening. So if a man is having a, a, a sexual intercourse with the woman, she is not his wife. What this prayer would do? Nothing, right? Now we are talking about a man and his wife. And you are saying to me, that doing anything against Allah is this is how shaitan he shares. So what the point of this prayer where he says, say this before you should do, uh, do the prayer, otherwise shaitan can harm your children. So what you said to me, prove to me that Muhammad is not saying the truth. Because you just said that by saying that it's that's pray, that prayer, that will stop shaitan from sharing with you, your children. But you just said to me, anything the Muslim he do, disobey Allah, is you are sharing your children with shaitan and all people do that all people commit sin so this prayer is useless so your prophet is fabricating a lie no, you must uh, see what ibn kasir do see you see my friend you see, i showed you i showed you i'm going i'm going with you what you what you what you told me you just told me that i'm going with you i'm saying okay i will go with your logic if this is the case if you say, if you are saying that by committing sin, you are sharing your children with shaitan. Okay, wonderful. And then your prophet says, before you have sex, say this prayer so shaitan cannot harm you. That means shaitan should not be able to make sin with any of your children as Muslims, but they do sin. And you do sin yourself. And your father, he said that prayer before intercourse too. So that means the prayer of the prophet is a lie. It, it's not effective. It's not working. So he said to you something, say say that and that will stop shaitan. But shaitan, here we go, he is functioning and he is overcome the power of Allah. This is what you just said to me. No, no, no. Uh, what do you mean? No, this is what you said to me. What? Aren't you the one who said, you, if, you, if you say this prayer to stop shaitan from sharing with you, your children, correct? How? By they, they commit sin. Okay. Uh, so and you and you give me Ibn Kathir and you said Ibn Kathir is saying Ibn Kathir said that you share your children by committing sin that's wonderful but after saying this prayer still Muslims committing sin so that did not stop shaitan from sharing with you your children that's mean the prophet of Islam he gave you a fabricated prayer has no effect and it's not working it's like a fake medicine uh, sin commit another sin. Sin commit and, another uh, sin. That's wisdom. That's deep. What yes. is that? What does that mean? Uh, uh, not everyone who uh, who saying this prayer. Uh, has, I see echo in my voice. It's, it's, it's a that, no, life. because this is a deep echo, uh, uh, Doctor Rohi. Uh, you are saying to me that not everyone say this prayer. The prayer will work for him. But not a single person in this man in this world, he did not commit sin. That means the prayer working with no one, isn't it? Your prophet he says, Every son of an Adam is a sinner. So obviously this prayer is useless. 
Yes, we mean a special sins, a special sins. Special my sins, what, like what, all like what? Sins. what Shaitan, what Shaitan all can sins. do? Okay, hold on. So I will go with you. So sh now I am, I'm going to have sex and my wife in the bed waiting for me. By the way, wait, uh, I'm talking to my wife. Uh, 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 and now she is ready. And now I'm going to say this prayer. What this prayer will do exactly? Go ahead. Uh, what's the prayer? Mm. Allahumma ganibna shaitan wa no, 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 no. What, what the prayer will do? I know what the prayer is. What after I say it, what will happen? What sin is going to prevent? Uh, it happened that your children, if they're a son from this night, he will be righteous man. He will be good man. Not uh, commit That's sin wonderful. at all. That's wonderful. So you are sin. saying to me, you are saying to me, that if you don't say this prayer, shaitan will be a bad person. If you say this prayer, shaitan, sh your, your son will be a good person. But is that fair? I mean, so now you are saying to me that your God, he don't protect Muslims unless the Muslim, they say a prayer before having sex. And the born baby, who is just a poor baby, he don't do anything yet. Just because his father forgot to say this prayer, he will be a bad person. Are you serious? Okay. Uh, are you don't hear that Paul said every children is a, a, a small satan? Every children every is small satan. <laughs> That's a good one, <laughs> Doctor Roy. <Ryan. laughs> uh, yes, Paul, Paul said that. No, my friend. You see, you know, you Muslims, you 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 come with the stories, which is really amazing. Give us the verse so we can read to everybody, and then you will see that this is not what it says according to you. You know? Okay, I I search now to this no problem. Uh, but anyway, but, uh, there's no uh, in, no. Okay. They say Jesus said, if you don't become the same as those little ones, you don't deserve the kingdom of my Father. Which means if you don't become like a child, which means innocent, you cannot go to heaven. This is what the Bible teaches, and Paul he totally agree with that. So when I research the, no you can search the, as you in the, in you the, can search the same time so talk I mean. to me about what we said so you are saying that you Muslims believe that this, if you don't say this prayer it's a must for the child to be satanic no hmm. so what, what is that what is the justice in that the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa what means that the, this child not commit sin at all, but not commit a big so a big sins, a kabira, yeah, kabira min al kabir. But you are saying that this, this prayer, okay, you are saying this prayer, if you don't say it, the sons will be a bad person. And let me tell you something will, will make you unhappy. That's mean your prophet himself is a bad person. Because his father was not a Muslim and he did not say this prayer before intercourse. So according to you, Muhammad was a satanic man because he's a born of a sexual intercourse without saying this prayer. Yes. Uh, so on one minute, please. Hmm. <clears throat> Uh, the first that I mean, uh, Bulus, uh, what said, كل إنسان حديث الولادة شيطان صغير. يعني what he said in متى. So any what he said. كل إنسان منذ ولادته فاسد وسيء ولا يمكن أن يأتي منه شيء حسن وفهي ضد الله. What does have to do with the children? No, this is this is not about children. This is about that every one of us we believe in the original sin. That this what your prophet said. وكل ابن آدم خطاء. So every human being he is a sinner by his nature. But he is not saying the babies are sinners. That's why Jesus said that the kingdom of God is for the little one. Let them come to me. So don't give us interpretation for our my my Bible, my friend. You do not know your own first. So here we go back. I just told you that your prophet, he is a son of a man. He never said this prayer. And you are the one who said that shaitan, if you don't say this prayer, shaitan will share with you your children by the meaning that your child will be satanic. He would do bad sin. He will not be righteous. If you say the prayer, he will be righteous. If you don't say this prayer, he will not be righteous, which means you just say that your prophet is not a righteous man. 
uh, our prophet is the protect from Allah uh, from uh, before his birth oof, 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 oof. because he wants him to that? a prophet. Oof. Oh, guys! Yes. A second ago, he said that if you don't say this prayer, the child he will be what? Not a righteous. Everybody heard you. Now we just remind him that he's a prophet himself. He is a son of a man. Is not a Muslim, which means he when he have intercourse, he did not say that. So look at the excuse. The excuse is Allah protect him. How do you know Allah protect him? Where in the Quran it says Allah He protect the prophet? Isn't it the, the Quran says that Muhammad was a big time sinner? Yes. Hmm? What uh, the prophet said? Do. Uh, what the Prophet said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم كنت نبيا وآدم بين الماء والطين. They said, O oh, Messenger of Allah, when was the Prophet Hud established for you? He hmm. said, while Adam was between being body, hmm. not the so Muhammad, he claimed, so Muhammad he claimed that he is so Muhammad he claimed that he is eternal he is God read with me this verse chapter 48 verse number 2 it says that may Allah forgive thee for the sin which in the past and the sin to come so he will become prophet or not Allah did not protect him as you see Muhammad he big, is big time sinner he commits sin in the past he is committing sin in the future even after he became a prophet so you said to me and everybody heard you that the one if you say this prayer that will make you a righteous son a righteous son is the one who don't do sin your prophet is not a righteous son as you see he commits sin big deal and the Quran confirmed that you must uh, return to the interpreters to uh, understand this ayah <laughs> المقصود بعض الذنوب الصغيرة كإعراضه في عبس وتولى. When جاءه the blind man. Okay. What about this is a what about, sin. What about not being a believer for in Allah for forty years? Is that a sin or not? Not. No. No. Not. He not commit a sin when uh, before he uh, become a prophet. He, he did not, not commit, commit a, sin. a sin. He did not. He yes. did not, uh, uh, did not commit a sin. Yes. True. Okay. What about a person who fabricate law which is not from from God? Is that a big sin or no? So, um, if somebody fabricate a law which is not from God, is that a sin or not? Fabricate a law? Mm -hmm. I don't understand. Please explain. Uh, what this. about what about the chapter of a tahrim where Muhammad he fabricated a law and Allah said to him, "Why you are?" Forbidden what is not forbidden by Allah. Is that a sin or not? No, no, not this uh, first about the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam when he uh, mm -hmm. Said I want uh, eat the honey. Ah, I want to eat the honey. It's about honey Well, the interpretation saying this is about him having sex in the bed of his wife and they got him busted He was having sex with the maid of his wife in the bed of his wife, correct? And I can show you the reference. What are you talking about, Dr. No, Remember, you are talking I, to Christian Prince, I, not an American guy who know nothing. Yeah, okay, I mean, uh, also I have a reference. Okay, so what about my reference? What, what I would do with the reference? Do, is it you Muslims who says that his wife, she found him with in the bed with his no, maid? No. It is it is false hadith. It is false hadith. It's false hadith. Ah, false hadith. Who said so? Who said so? Ibn now, uh, we look at the interpretation for Ibn Kasir. What this uh, about this verse? Okay, what, what, what about okay, what, what about what about oh, right. okay? What about other interpretation? What they say? Azar, father of Abraham. What 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 other interpretation they say about this story? Oh. Uh, it is not a true uh, who is saying that who is saying that you said Ibn Kathir right anyone else 
Yes. Mm. Where, uh, why is that? I mean, this is weird. why you took. Okay, why, uh, yeah, why, asked, I'm why asking you the same question. Why you, why, you took, took, why you took this, this interpretation uh, only? Story of okay, Hone. so why are you saying to me? Hone. Are you saying to me that you Muslims, you fabricate interpretation, and there's only Ibn Kathir now is a good interpreter. The rest are they are liars. Why the other scholar they say this is about him having sex with the women. Her name is Mary, and she is his slave. And he was he was gut busted by his wife, and he promised her he will not do that again. Why they are saying that? Do you think they are trying to insult the prophet? Those Muslim scholars. But why you not take uh, the another story that in the Prophet okay, Muhammad I'm asking you why you take that story too? Asal ala nafsi, okay. la All right. Show me the hadith where it says that the prophet says, "I forbid him myself from eating honey." Can you, do you have the hadith? Okay, I search now. Okay, I, search. I search now. Hmm. <coughs> Oh, now, now difficult to search. Mm. You will but, not find uh, this. You will, you why, know, why, where no, the hadith? No, no, it's not difficult. It's not difficult. I will give you. I will give you a few years to find it. Can you find the hadith that he 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 uh, he uh, forbidden himself from eating honey? You said it's a hadith. This remember. Is in the you said it's a hadith. This right? is in Ibn Kathir. Ibn Kathir. So why? it's not a hadith. So it's not a hadith, Dr. Rohi. Don't they? So why you are why you are saying it's a hadith if it's not a hadith? Is it a hadith or not? So, so where is the hadith that said he uh, uh, here we go? See? So why you said to me it is a hadith? The, a second ago, Dr. Rohi, you said to me it's a hadith. I said, okay, can you find it for me? Because I never, you know, I, I'm spending all my life. Uh, reading this though you, the yellow pages of Islam and I could not find this hadith I want to learn from you something new. Can you show me the hadith? You said no now a second ago you said this hadith. So now you're saying it's in Ibn Kathir Well Ibn Kathir himself he says he say many things Ibn, Ibn Kathir is quoting stories Ibn Kathir is not saying that uh, Ibn Kathir is saying that my, some they say this is because my friend my, my, my uh, friend why you say it's a hadith it's not <coughs> My friend we take the Nas al Aya, the words of the first. Oh. The first said, Ya Yuhan Nabi Yulima to Harum Ma Ahalla Allahu Lakata Abtari Mardata as Wajika, Allahu Rafur Rahim. Al Aya not said that he uh, commits sins or not said anything. Well, is, 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 is forbidden okay. is forbidden something from you. Which is not forbidden by Allah, isn't it a big sin? Because remember, Muhammad is a prophet, and the Muslim they will follow him blindly. So he just fabricated a lie. Because when you forbid something, the Muslim they will follow your step. Aren't you a Muslim Sunni? What Sunni mean? Sunni mean that Muhammad he says something, you do what he say. Muhammad he says something, you do what he do. So when Muhammad he forbid himself from eating something, if it's about food as you claim, which is not, that means he is committing big sin because he's fabricating a lie. This is a big sin. He's deceiving people. He's misleading them. You as a Muslim. Now, if Allah did not send that verse, now you will say, okay, the prophet, he forbid himself from eating honey, as you claim. Then I will not eat honey. But as you see, Allah saying to him, why you are forbidding yourself from eating honey? By the way, do you show, can you show me where it says in the Quran that I, why you are forbidding yourself from eating honey? Where you get the story from? What's the first said? What, uh, what the first said? What, what, oh, prophet, the, oh, prophet, what? Why do you forbid yourself that which Allah has made lawful for you? Mm. You seek to please your wives, mm. and Allah is forgiving, merciful. Okay. This is the what's the uh, the first said. Mm. So why you uh, carry the affairs mm. uh, more than uh, it's worth? It's worth. Mm. Now, if you want. Uh, now you say you said you once said this uh, fabrication translation. Okay, mm. I want to read, to read to you to non-Muslim uh, translation for this ayah. Uh, 
as such as Arthur John Albury all Edward who are they? Henry who are they? What, what those all what those will George, do to me George, okay. George, you, you see Sil I, I don't do what you do you see first of all those are not non muslims they, those they are muslims are non -Muslim. those they are, are non they Just, are Christians. no no they are not Christians. they are not a christian secondly I will go right now yeah, in front of everybody. Christian. I will go, I will go. Okay, first of all, this, among, is, this, is, this is a translation for, for the Quran. And the Quran, anyway, doesn't say for what reason. So whatever translation you read, it's a false because simply they are not giving the reason. Because there is no reason there. The Quran doesn't say why. What, what you forbid, it says, why you forbid? <coughs> now, if we go to Tafsir, and I will show it now not from the Christians as you claim, I will show it to you from English Islamic website, and this is not, uh, you know, not neither by Christians, neither by Jews. This is by Muslims and Muslims only. Let us open the Quran here, and everybody will see in a second. I will I will show it in the screen. All right, now we open the screen for people to see. Okay, let us see. This is the Sirah Jalali. It says. O Prophet, why you forbid what God has made lawful for you in the terms of your Coptic handmaid, Maria, when he lay with her in the house of Hafsa, who had been away, but upon returning and finding out become upset. So your Prophet was a cheating on his wife in her bed. And who is the one saying that? This is Tafsir al What do you say to al uh, it is wrong tafsir. I take Ibn Ibn is wrong tafsir. tafsir. I read. I read. Hmm. Look, I want to read to you what Ibn Kasir said. Hmm. Al Bukhari recorded. Uh, uh, Ibn Kasir said. Al Bukhari recorded that Ubaida Ibn Umar said that he said uh, that he heard Aisha claiming that Allah's messengers used hmm. to stay for a period in house of Zainab bin hmm. Tujahsh and drink honey. In her house, she said, Hafsa and I decided that when the Prophet entered mm -hmm. upon either of us, we would say, uh, I smell maf uh, maghafir on you. Have you eaten maghafir? When he entered upon one of us, she said that to him, he replied to her, he replied to her, mm -hmm. Oh Prophet, why do you? For uh, what, uh, no, but I drank honey hmm. in the house of Zainab bin Tujahsh, okay. and I will never uh, drink uh, Dr. It Rahim, again Dr. Rahim. in the following Dr. Month Rahim. Revealed. Dr. Rahim. Oh, Prophet, why do you forbid hmm. that which Allah has allowed to you okay. up to? All right, Dr. Rahim. I am not, this is a you know, I am, you know, that I am not, I don't like to be rude with you, right? You know that. I like to respect you. But sadly, you said you like Ibn Kathir, and Ibn Kathir, he mentioned the story of Mary the Copt. Let me show you in the screen, and everybody will start laughing in a second, because we are talking to someone, he's a sheikh, and you are a person who have a PhD, and you are a sheikh from al Azhar University. This is Tafsir Ibn Kathir in the screen. It says, وَرَوْيَا and Ibn Jarir, Jurair. عن زيد بن أسلم أن رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم أصاب أم إبراهيم في بيت بعض نسائه فقالت أي رسول الله في بيتي وعلى فراشي فجعلها عليه حراما and this is Ibn Kathir so why you are saying I take only Ibn Kathir but you are not reading Ibn Kathir I, I read from Ibn Kathir now in English. <laughs> I read from Ibn My Kathir. My friend, your Ibn Kathir English is a lie. And you know that. You have a PhD in Islam. You learn Islam now in English or you learn it from Arabic Ibn Kathir. You see, you are a person who speaks Arabic. You have a PhD. You study Islam in Arabic and you read Ibn Kathir in Arabic. And now the excuse is, your excuse, oh, I did not hide it. I was reading Ibn Kathir in English. So you just approved to me that Muslims, they lie when they translate Ibn Kathir. They cut the story off and they delete the story just to fabricate a story. But Ibn Kathir, the real Ibn Kathir is saying, yes, Muhammad, he have sex with Mary the Copt and this is the reason. And you are the one who said to me, why you don't take Ibn Kathir? Yes, uh, okay. you want Ibn Kathir so now this is, And, and okay. this is now Ibn Kathir. 
Okay, we go. You this want is, here we go. This is the Mikathir in Arabic in front of you. Okay, I'll give you the link. Here we go. This is Ibn Kathir in Arabic. Yes. Here we go. I said in Ibn Kathir in, in, in Arabic. يقول عن عائشة قالت كان النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم يشرب عسلا عند زينب بنت جاش. My friend, read it, read it, read it, read it, read it. No, that's not. Read it. No, no, no. Read it. It's in front of you. I gave you the link. Read it. It says اختلف في في سبب نزول صدور الصورة. This is Ibn Kathir. Let me. You know what? I'm going to translate in the front of everybody in English. This is the page. This is your Muslim page, not mine. Translate to English by Google, and people will see what it says. Here we go. Yes, so this is Google I translation. Here we go. It says the verse was narrated by an say. It said, "And I say that the messenger of Allah, uh, the Prophet, okay, said, oh Prophet, did he, don't you deny that Allah permitted you?'" So the Prophet, this is the Google translation, is not really good. And then he said, uh, "I'm sure the messenger of Allah, etc. Uh, he hit Ibrahim mother. He hit her. He uh, he did f. He did f with her." In the house of some of his wives, and she said, Hey, oh messenger of Allah, in my house, in my bed. Even this is, is the Google stupid marriage? translation is showing. So, uh, Dr. Roy, you are not being honest. This is what Ibn Kathir is saying. Yes, I read from the link that you sent to me mm. now. Mm. Does it in say that? Link. Do, you, uh, Do you say that? D does it say that, or I'm lying? Yes. I read from the link you okay. send me. So how right come now? you are what a person? This is, not an now. this is not an excuse, Dr. Yeah. Rahi. You are a sheikh and you learn and you read Ibn Kathir. Are you saying to me this is the first time you read this interpretation of Ibn Kathir for this verse? This is from this is from this, the, this uh, tafsir, this interpretation for this verse uh, support by Bukhari, support listen, by listen, uh, listen, listen, uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, doctor. You are the one who said to me, I accept Ibn Kathir, and you ask me why you don't accept Ibn Kathir. You are the one who said that to me. Well, this is Ibn Kathir. <laughs> yes. Anyway, Dr. Rohi, I, 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 I got to go soon. You know, it's getting late for me. It's already 3 a.m. in the morning. It's 2.45 in the morning. Thank okay, you, Dr. Rohi. And try next time friend. to be more honest, my friend. I mean, I respect you really. You are a person. I'm sure you are not a, you are an old man. And I, I really like to respect you, but it's not right. It's very embarrassing that you are a sheikh and you are a, supposedly a scholar who have a PhD in Islam from the highest university in the world, and yet you fabricate answers and you know the answer because there is no way I will believe no, you. No, no, I don't. No, no, my friend. So no, are you saying to me you I never read the Kathir before? Are you, read from the, are you the saying to me? Okay, from, forget to me. about forget what you read from. I'm asking you. Are you saying to me? You never saw Ibn Kathir before in Arabic? I see it is okay. It is you never read this another, verse. Another. You never read interpretation of Ibn Kathir in Arabic for this verse before? You did. So how come you say to me Ibn Kathir did not say that and you deny and you made me fight because for it and you made me go and I was wondering what this guy is talking about. I mean he have a PhD, he's a doctor, he's an imam, he's a sheikh and he must be trustworthy and then we find that you are fabricating answer which is not in Ibn Kathir. Ibn Kathir did not. He, Ibn Kathir, the first thing Ibn Kathir said this is about Muhammad having sex with Mary and his wife she said to him in my house in my bed which means how dare you. Why I choose this tafsir? Do you know why I choose this tafsir for this first from Ibn Kir? My friend, Ibn because, Kathir interpretation in front of you. Why you did not? Why you did not read for us? You, uh, there is no way that you do not know what Ibn Kathir said in Arabic. And if no, you don't I know, know, I know. I Okay, so so then why you did not say to me Ibn Kathir says that yes, it's about him having sex with Mary. When I said to you it's about having sex with Mary in a in, in, in you said to me this is wrong. Everybody heard you. You said this is wrong interpretation. He did not. This is about honey. Yes, yes, and then yes. and you said to me, and why you don't accept yes, Ibn Kathir? Okay, then we go to Ibn Kathir. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. Hmm. But Ibn Kathir support this saying by hadith Not of friend. the Prophet No, Muhammad Ibn Kathir, Ibn Kathir, he caught opinion, and who is Ibn Kathir anyway? Is a guy came hundreds of years after Muhammad, he was not there. So this is a story coming from those who they are living in the time of Muhammad. Rawahu Ibn Jurair, Rawahu, etc. Those are companion, those are tabi'een, not Ibn Kathir. He is not a tabi'i, he is not a companion. So look what you are doing. 
you said Ibn Kathir, Ibn Kathir did not say what you said, and you try to hide the story totally, and Ibn Kathir in front of us in Arabic, and you do what you do usually with Muslim, with, with, with American, because they don't know Arabic, they do not know Islam, so we can give them any answer, and we are done with it. Thank you, Dr. Rohi, for calling us, and I hope you will call me maybe Thank tomorrow. Thank you. You're welcome. Take care. Inshallah. Thank you, my friend. Hope you call you again, and uh, take care. Thank, Thank you. you. Take care. Do you believe it? The doctor, a sheikh, it is the same. All of them, they try to give us false answers. Sadly, there's no decency. This is Ibn Kathir. <clears throat> And by the way, I always wait for the Muslims to dig down. A Muslim, he think when he's talking to me, like he have a shuffle and he is digging a, like a, he's digging a, a hole for me in the ground. But the fact I'm waiting for him to finish it, so he will go because he's going to be there, not me. So I let him insist, and he insist, and he insist, and then we show what is coming next. Be careful when you talk to a Christian prince. There's a consequence. Anyway, guys, I hope, uh, don't forget to download this video. You can cut the last part of it, where Dr. Rohi, he called me, if you wish, uh, because that will be interesting you know, conversation. And let uh, everybody learn how the Muslims, they try always to protect their prophet by fabricating uh, answers and not being honest. And uh, what is important is that he said that the prophet said, or according to him, if you don't say the prayer before you have intercourse, the, the child will be not righteous. And this is telling you what this religion is about. There's nobody have a little brain will believe in such a thing. This is superstition. It's not true. And it's not even fair. Because what is the fault of this child? Nothing. Nothing. It's just because his father did not say the prayer. And we say to him, well, your, your, your prophet father, he did not say that the prayer. That means Muhammad, he himself is not righteous. He said, oh, no, Allah, he protect him. And then we, so we showed him that Muhammad was committing sin left and right. And the Quran confirmed that. So what is the protection? Very funny. And not to forget to mention, Muhammad was a rapist. Muhammad was a criminal. Muhammad was a thief. Muhammad, he did all kinds of crazy stuff, including having sex with the children. So what do you mean Muhammad was not a sinner? So I want to say, say thank you for all of you uh, uh, people here. And we appreciate those who uh, join us and support us. Don't forget to download the video. We don't keep our videos for long. And I hope I will see you maybe tomorrow, which is, when I say tomorrow now, it's today already. But no, I mean maybe tomorrow because already it's 3 a.m. in the morning. So uh, it was good to be with you guys. And I hope tomorrow will be a better day for us and for the Muslims. So they will see the truth and the truth will set them free. Islam is a is a is a mad cult. There's no good in it. And we prove it every day. And the Muslims they help us to prove it. And you know, the reason the reason for people to lie, because they knew that they are there is a guilt. You see, you lie when you are guilty. You lie because you you're you know you are doing it wrong. A person he is not ashamed of something, he will say what he did. He say what as it is. But because they are ashamed of their prophet, so they try to lie to cover. And you witness every day for what they do in order to protect the prophet by lying about the prophet because simply they are ashamed of him, not because they are proud. But what they can do is a prophet, and you have to defend your prophet. And if you don't do that, that's mean you are not a Muslim. And if you don't do that, then ah, people will eat your life. So they are doing that not because they are convinced. But because they have to I'm born as a Muslim and Islam is my ID so I have to defend my ID even though I know that this defense is useless this is exactly the story if you like to, le to uh, learn more and read more you can get my books from Amazon.com and thank you for those who support us by making donation in Patreon Christ is Lord Islam is false and see you soon again. Bye-bye.